Three, two, one. And we're back once again. Hello. And we're back, and we're back, and we're back. Yada, yada, tell a friend. Welcome back. <sighs> welcome Good. back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And uh, we're the people of culture. Back on the scene. Back on the beat. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, Who would you be? Darby Mace. Welcome back. Sober Swervana. What? Yes. (laughs) Sober Swervana. Sober Swervana. Okay. Sober Swerve. And I am... uh, Man, be Komodo Edgar, bro. Who the fuck is that? You know, CEO of Vought. Be a villain? Was he really a villain? He's a corporate villain. I mean, he acted like you if he was a CEO. No, nah, that motherfucker's cold hearted. I think you was. I think you can check. Put in like a, if a super strong Homelander dude. I think you can put him in check because he was very stoic and in. He just stared at that nigga like, anyways, nigga. Homelander was like, I got a year out of my contract. That dude was like, he shut his drink down. What you know about the business? What you know about the history of Buck? <laughs> Oh my god, he hit him so hard. He's like, bro, just so you know, you're not our most valuable asset. I know you thought you were, like, but you're not. You're under this misconception that uh, we're a superhero company. Wrong. We're a pharmaceutical company. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, spoilers, my bad. <laughs> he you don't know so what we're talking about. He don't even know what I we're talking about. I talking about. Oh, oh, do you really? The boys. Yeah. Oh. And them niggas get their superpowers from some chemical pharmacy bullshit. I nah, don't you don't even know. See, you don't even know. You don't even know. But Edgar the coldest person, bro. Yeah. Edgar is the coldest. He, he he's, he's a dope motherfucker. Oh, no. What are we talking about? Um, Today, we're going to talk about five types of tiredness. Oh, bet. Okay, bet. I got you. I'm tired of you bitch-ass niggas. I'm tired of you police. I'm tired of you raggedy-ass hoes. One nigga do y'all motherfucking favor as soon as we link up. I'm tired of uh, I'm tired of, of, of weed not being completely legal, and I'm motherfucking tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. No, I'm not, because <laughs> I'm healthy. But I'm tired of all you niggas, man. Damn, he said that one twice. You could have said I'm tired of racism, but whatever. He said the police. That that racism does not stop at the police. It don't, but that's a big chunk, man. That's. Okay, life would be lot. Like if, whenever if, if there was no racism in the police, it would be significantly so much. Better. Whenever True. you get in your car and you hope it goes well, nigga, <laughs> you just hope it goes well. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> I'll tell my nigga like, bro, I get in my whip and I'm more nervous about getting pulled over than I am a drunk driver getting robbed right, out my that's car. What I'm <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> been like that since I was a kid. That's what I'm saying. That shouldn't be like that. But it's, it's like ramped up now. You just like really now, like, uh, shit. Cause like you, when, when they get away with certain cases, you just like, bro, like damn, uh, you can't even be safe in your own apartment. They can legit like mistake and just go and start dumping. But oh, wrong house, but yeah. oh well, oh, yes, but, nah. oh well. I know, you, I know you were asleep, but somehow it was still your fault. <laughs> it, it was still your fault. The system's so crazy that y'all brothers gonna forgive them. Yep. No, my brother won't. Oh uh, yeah, Which, I wouldn't. Hmm. Tyler, I, I, I would see Tyler walk up. Tyler, with, I feel like Tyler walk up with an open hug and then bing, 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 bing. <laughs> I think I, that's how I see Ty just going in there and he just start throwing punches, bro. Yeah, they they probably. And then I, him doing that, he would get more years than the person that would kill you. They, <laughs> he would. He would. And that's the wild thing, bro. Say, well, so it, it, it's funny that, that we actually even even you know busted out with that because I know before y'all said, man, I don't know what the five types of mental exhaustion are, but I was like, I promise you, yeah, you do. That right. Right there to me sounds like mental exhaustion. Um, so I think before we get into the thing, uh, can we like do a f- short film based off of a superhero off of your brother that was because there's a Tetracana superhero that teamed up with Spider Man that was a truck driver that lived in Tetracana? Are you serious? I'm being completely serious. Why Tetracana have, have all these weird nods to it? Have you have you noticed that? It is a very weird, Razor Man was a truck driver dude 
Uh, and he teamed up with Spider Man to stop the Green Goblin or something. And they specifically know that he came from Texarkana. Yes, he was trucked out from Texarkana. Who in Marvel specifically decided to write a comic book about a hero from Texarkana? Texarkana do get an odd amount of nods, like you said, for it to be kind of a small so town. What do we do? We're a, small, exactly. So what do we do? A, a real weird over. short film thing, and we make your brother part. We make your brother Razor Man. Razor Man is his name. Yes. Let me look up what, what, what this motherfucker look like. Razor Man, Razor Man. You gotta put, oh wow! What the? No, no, no! You got to put Razor Man Marvel. I was gonna type in Spider Man, but you know that worked. Who the hell? Wait, wait! Is this him? No. What no. the fuck? Interest. Is this him? What the hell am I looking at? Okay, put Texture Canna in? If that works, I'm gonna laugh. Unless he's the Razorback. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are close. Those are it. The first two. This motherfucker got a hog on his head. Yeah, that's right. Ra- that's it. <laughs> what in the fuck? Buford Razorback. Yeah, the Razorback. That was his name. And you go to the next one. Razorback. That's bro, his name. Why does nobody talk about this? Look at him, bro. He was a stocky dude. The mud. Uh, the horns apparently shot electricity or something like that. Reminds me of that guy from that anime that everybody likes. Demon Slayer. <laughs> what so, in the hell? They do. Boarhead. So, like I was saying. CBD. What if we do that and we. What the hell is this? Man, this shit smells like CBD. It's so weird. From te- Tetracana, bro. Now, think about it. It never popped up until you put Tetracana in. That's disturbing. Why? Okay, okay. Anywho, uh, anyway. so mental tiredness, um, <laughs> mental exhaustion. You gotta show those pictures on the thing now. Um, when's the last time you've been mentally exhausted? Swerve. Every day I wake up and deal with you hoe ass niggas, dog. Nah, but real shit. Uh, I be tired all the damn time, my nigga. What the fuck you mean? I work. I'm a corporate slave. They keep demanding shit out of us. And as oh soon as we God. reach the goddamn motherfucking shit that they said, they said, you know what? Y'all did such a good job beating that goal. We would have make it twice as hard for you <laughs> niggas. Oh, let's go ahead and get... Capitalism, <laughs> baby. Like, yeah, I, I tell mean, people all the you time. You do that like Leonardo DiCaprio and that thing. No, we're going to do it twice as hard. Yeah. I right, tell right. people all the time. And capitalism, it, I, I love it, but it definitely has a lot of sore spots in it that, that, that annoy me. Um... It's designed to work you to the bone until you can't work to the bone anymore. And either a few things happen out of that scenario. Either A, they start laying off people. They sell the company off to somebody else to take over the L's that they see, they foresee coming. <laughs> they up, we done pushed them, and this is the limit. While we're at the top of it, let's just sell this off on somebody else and they'll deal with it. <laughs> um, or three, they just... Like, they, like I said, they lay off people and they bring in new people and try to make them either A, do that goal, or B, they'll reset the goal, but they'll pay those people like half the price they paid to other people. <laughs> so, it, it's crazy, but it, it's a thing. That is definitely a thing. Now, funny enough, believe it or not, this is why I think this is very important. So, the reason why I want to do this topic of exhaustion and different levels of tiredness is because 2020 has been a tiring ass year. I feel like most people can agree to that unless you're Jeff Bezos. No. And the only thing he's tired of is counting more money. This year is a blessing in disguise to me, bro. I, mean, I, say, I was blessed this year, too. Yeah, I was real blessed, bro. You was So blessed. did you not get any exhaustion out of it? I mean, social media probably is the main thing that exhausts me. I was exhausted last year, too, nigga. Like, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was exhausted a lot last year. But were you exhausted this year? Every year, I feel like, like, more, I feel like here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, I wasn't still, especially exhausted this year. I'm always exhausted. Here's the thing. You have to understand how many people lost their jobs this year. I didn't shit. So I, yeah. You didn't, but it's still my career path has stopped until still, 2022. It's still. I mean, my statement's still true. Like it's been a very exhausting year for a lot of people. That's all I said. For them niggas. For a lot of people, yes. For them, for y'all niggas. It's not an unpopular opinion. But what are we here to do? Are we not here to reach out to people? No, we not. Oh. Oh, this is a diary for this nigga. Dear diary, <laughs> niggas had me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but but the importance of this is knowing your exhaustions. Because believe it or not, you just talked about a different level of exhaustion than what I asked. 
I said mental exhaustion. You yeah. just I talked mean, about. Um, I believe you just talked about value disconnect, exhaustion. I'm, I'm definitely mentally exhausted, oh, shit, and I've been same. mentally exhausted. Social media mentally exhaust a lot. So many things mentally exhaust me. I don't really hang out with people, really. You know, and I just I'm mentally I'm mentally exhausted. And I became a very hermit that's really been bad towards my health. So I'm really mentally exhausted. <laughs> and the only time I talk to people is over on social media and it's very mentally draining. Because the ignorance like, and the uh, the hate and the anger and the fear and just so much ignorance. This nigga sounds like 2019 and 2020 me. They be like, Joe, you don't go out? I'm like, because fuck niggas. <laughs> fuck these niggas. I don't want to go out and kick it with people anymore like, Joe, Joe be like yeah the only people I hang out with, with is me myself and I essentially I hang out probably and, and to be honest with you it even like I said for me it's, exha- it's exhaustion I feel like I went so hard in 2018 that I just still don't want to really hang out a lot like I was out like on average I think I was out oh god I, I really can't fucking count I can't count how much I was out in 2018. Now, there was reasons why that. I just got out of a relationship, so I was always out. Because, like, I was trying, like, at that point in my life, I was trying not to do the thing where you stay in. Because I was like, I don't want to brood. You know what I mean? I don't want to be inside and be by myself all the time. So I was out all the time in 2018. But now in 2019 and 2020, I'm just like, bro, I'm tired. Like, I didn't been all types of clubs and places. Got kicked out of a few. Shit, I, I was drinking. Like, I threw up. I threw up so much in 2018, and none of it was from sickness. It was all from alcohol. <laughs> Dang, you a lightweight. Right. You young, bro. That's I was a young nigga. Stuff. Bro, I, I can't remember the last time I threw up from alcohol, bro. I mean, depends on what you're drinking. No. And how fast you drinking. No, bro. I, last time I, threw alcohol, I can bro. outdrink you, and you ain't going to see me throw up, bro. I've never seen you I drink the alcohol you, I drank in 2018. I've never seen you drink the alcohol I drank more than you. I drank in 2018. Bro, I drank yeah. more than you at the I mansion drink more party. all you niggas put together, bro. On God. Did I, I drink and I don't smoke more than me at that party. I don't know if I smoked that. You, you had to think about it. Bro, I can still You have to think about it. I can out drink and smoke any of y'all. You ain't out drinking me, fam. You can definitely do it now. Actually, I bet. Actually, yeah, actually, no, no, no. no, 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 no. I was about to say actually as of right now, you can probably out drink me right I see now. It right now, you right could. Now. There has never been a time in history where I couldn't out drink y'all. That's a motherfucking lie. I oh god, I can out drink y'all, lie. bro. What are you I didn't, I didn't start I didn't stop drinking alcohol heavily till I was like twenty five, nigga. Up until twenty five, nigga, I'm talking about I was literally and I told you this nigga. I used to work at Real Life, so I'll wake up in the morning and drink like a whole fucking full loco I mean I, me and my nigga would drink like we would split a full loco and some lemonade nigga and, go, and, and two blunts and go to work at 9 in the morning drunk as shit come back you 89 morning. pounds bro also, it, it, it also, don't matter nigga I can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can drink you when I was a drinking ass nigga I don't drink also, no more yeah, 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 yeah. excuse also, bro here goes another point though here goes another point though, here goes another point, though. Yeah, is that something to brag out, about I, but drinking was my lifestyle though, nigga. I'm saying I would literally wake up and get drunk and go to work because I hated my life. Like, you know bro, me out of the game still beat you, bro. Nah, See, nigga. All right. I hated my whole existence. I'm sorry. I would literally wake up and, and get not buzz, get drunk, nigga. Like, dr- like party drunk and go to work. That's cool in the Marlins, but I'm Jordan Six Rings. And then, I'm sorry, and then bro. I'll get off work and do it again, nigga. And but then wake yeah. up, like, you know what I'm saying? Is that is that something? Now he was talking about being tired. To be proud of. No, it's not. All I'm saying is, is something to brag back about. in the gap, nobody was out drinking me, my nigga. Oh, that's all I'm saying. Maybe right now you got it. No, but back no. then, hell no, nah, man. That's it's nothing to be proud of. It's just facts. It's just facts though. Facts I don't know alcohol you, sizes, but all I remember I was young and okay, I, was, so a, I was depressed. A bottle of Hennessy this big. What 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 would this size be called? It's a lot. What would it be called? A lot. It's not shit. To a real nigga, a lot. I'm, I'm just saying, like, bro, you I shut up. I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, 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 I get Sam Club bottles. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know the like, like the size, like, you know, fifth, eighth, whatever. Uh, that's a uh, nigga, a gallon. Nigga. Oh, look, honestly, I say the big ass bottle. Bro, I'm gonna get that's the, what the big I, ass. That's what I would call it, bro. I don't go by the not. big ass bottle. Of this, the big yeah. ass bottle. Of that. I don't know the size. If it's behind the thing, you're trying to see which one you want. You're like, oh, that big ass bottle right over there. Ain't nobody asking for no specific size. The 64 milliliter. Uh, let me ask yeah. you this. Let me ask you this. If it was you and one other person, how fast do you think y'all could knock this out? Depends on what it is. It really depends on how tired Hennessy. my mood. Hennessy. I'm gonna be real. If I'm in one of the moods, I'm probably knocking it out. Hen dog Hennessy. before we going out, back when I was a drinking ass nigga, 
me and one nigga, me and my nigga Kevin, is oh, is this just the body or the neck? Is this is the neck included? Is it yeah, like, the neck. So it's the head and the body start like right there? Yeah. That's not shit. Honestly, that's really not uh, that's really not. We're not, not even, even capping. Like, we two I'm people we knocking out the body. Yeah, like two people can knock that's out the body. That's what I'm saying. How fast? How fast do you think you would We count? don't know. No, it depends on the mood. Yeah, like that, that, that if depends. we turned up and we drink and we dancing and like pregame, if we, we turned up, up, it's gone. It's gone But if we just chilling on some depressed shit, it's gonna take a while. Yeah. It's gonna take a while. We're gonna say here's the thing. You already said you're going out next. Okay, we're going out, that bitch is gone, bro. Oh, we pre yeah, in an hour, yeah, we yeah, done. Yeah, that's gone, bro. Like, we, like, in an hour, we done. We might bring the last cup in the car with us on the way there, type shit. We may even crack over another bottle, type bro, shit. What are you? Me and one other nigga, we finna go out. That could've been like, like I'm or saying, we could crack over another bottle. Drinking ass nigga, that how would've been gone in an hour, bro. Straight up, easily. Could it depends. Like, like if we get ready and stuff, like it just that. Could y'all do thirty minutes? Yeah. If we was. Like like if I'm already if I'm already dressed and we just pre yeah, cool. Yeah, but if I'm pre if I'm dressing and pre it's gonna be out. The thing about it is niggas don't time it. We but I know that hoe gonna be gone before like eight songs play. Nigga, that hoe we got rap. You feel yeah, like, like we leaving out, it's gonna be done, bro. We yeah. not gonna leave. The bottle's gonna be done, bro. We yeah. pour that last cup. That's some end like of we, it. We pull up. You know what I'm saying? Roll up your blunts. We drink. We chug. Got a solo. Up. Put in the niggas cup holder. Jamming. Right. And that bitch. We passing that bitch around and that hoe gone fool. But like thirty minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes is very, very feasible. Man. How are you so yeah. time and but, size but, oriented? But I'm saying, like, I don't know. We didn't, we didn't, niggas Some don't count that shit. Different. I don't count that shit. That is so that. weird, bro. But it will be gone Some quick. Niggas different, bro. All I know is it should be gone. I'm not a. Don't be cookie cutter. That's don't be cookie cutter. cutter. That is, like, thank that's, you. <laughs> like, that's cookie cutter as fuck. <laughs> right. Well, like, we looking yeah, at you strange. You can't you judge. Know, but no, I'm saying you can't assume that everybody's the same. No, we not. No, I'm not saying you say. I said that's weird, bro. Having the exact well, time down and how long it takes. Bro, you long. know, you asked for the 65 then milliliter and asked no the time, bro. You have to understand it. People different, right? <laughs> bro, you act like you like actually went to the drinking Olympics, bro. But then you gotta understand people are different, right? <laughs> I'm calling you weird, as in you're different. Yeah, but being weird is different. I'm not saying I like a normal dude like, does that. That's what I'm saying. Don't act like everything's cookie cutter. <laughs> I'm tired of you. <laughs> that's one form. <laughs> that's, that's mental exhaustion. That's mental exhaustion. Um, but uh, also what Javon was talking about is lack of purpose is what it sounds like. So that's another form of exhaustion. Um, and he said it's the most difficult one to identify also, which is why he said, no, that's mental exhaustion. But uh, no, it it's a form mental. of exhaustion and it's something that a lot of people don't recognize and address. Um, it's different than a lot of other things as you can see it's different than being physically mentally or emotionally exhausted that shit is emotionally and mentally exhausted it's not physical nigga which one's mental lack of purpose lack of purpose and that's not even exhaustion very, that's just depression that could be exhaustion though I mean I feel like exhaustion is like a, a, Cause it, a symptom cause, of cause here, here's the thing here's the thing here's that's why fair. it's different here's why it's different physically you could be good healthy in shape right not tired mentally you could be like well I'm good I had a good life right because like, I had a good childhood growing up I didn't get anything weird happening to me Check. No. Emotionally, I can still be good because it's like I don't have any rifts going on in my life. I'm not bumping How? heads with anybody. I don't have any tasks. A lack or of purpose is an entire emotional rift. That's, that's a whole like the thing. Because here's the thing. Here's how I know that's different. I remember going through a lack of purpose a few years ago. And I remember when I was going through that point in time. Honestly, that was about the only thing that I had going that was actually fucking me up the most was because right there at that point in time, I knew someone else who also couldn't understand how this was different because it was who I was dating. And she was like, why aren't you happy? And I was like, honestly, I just feel like I'm going nowhere. I can't see anything ahead of me. I don't see anything. I don't know how to do better. I don't know how to be more successful. I don't know how to do anything. And then she was like, well, you got me, bitch. You got your family. I clearly don't. You got a job, time, motherfucker. You, you got a place to live. Actually, you got all these things. You got a, you got everything. You got a house. You got a car. You in a relationship. You got your family. Both your parents alive. Why are you Why are you exhausted? Or right, and that, that's how I, that's how I knew. I was like, that is a little bit different. Like those things. Like this purpose right here. It can definitely affect those other things. But it's its own other beast because you can have shit going for you. But if you don't have a purpose, this is why. Also, some people who are rich are still depressed because it's like I got all this money, but like I don't got a purpose, nigga. <laughs> like my dad's rich, which means you know I'm rich. And when he dies, I got money. But even then, like nigga, I, it's like if you can't see ahead of you, nigga, that can fuck with you. Like, that can fuck with you real heavily, especially, like, 
I, I think for men, it, it, it's a different thing too. Because like men, you're taught, you know, you got to be a hunter. You know what I mean? You got to have you, a purpose. That's yeah, a lot. That's a, a lot. That's a lot with me. I feel that yeah. because, like, to me. I'm just everything's a bonus for me and I think I'm exhausted for the fact like I just don't there's nowhere I want to go like I have no passion and I, that, I'm tired because I don't have passion but I know society says I have to do something right yeah and the reason I say this year wasn't that bad for it because it gave me a reason to just sit at home and not do anything <laughs> it, it, and I was like I was said. genuinely okay with that everybody was on the same page yeah like and I was real cool like, with that like, I'm sitting at home she me too yeah I was like real chill with that but like I you said, said like I'm society chill. tells you you have to and like for me Everything I've accomplished, I like. I feel like I'm successful. I don't need to prove to myself or anybody else. Like I did it, and anybody that knows me know, like, dang, he could have did more, and that's and that satisfied me. But I'm tired because of society. Does that makes sense. Like society says, oh well, you can't stop here. Yeah, like like purpose exhaustion is the thing. Cause like and like you could take like you know you know we zoomed in on the fact of we're talking about men you know right like men have to be providers men have to be hunters all all these kind of things but I mean shit sometimes like this can roll into an existential kind of shit you know what I mean like who am I why am I here like <laughs> people freak out over shit like this like that's I, a, that's a whole different level of like I feel like that because like my mom really want me to like have a kid because she'd be seventy next year. And I was like, man, I'm really, I'm really good on that. Like, I, a family's cool, but I'm really good on that. You know, I'm coming up this week on my like four year anniversary of my relationship, so I'm like, dang, I guess I have to get married, type thing, right? <laughs> right. Like, like I'm like, are we been together for four years? Because people literally be asking. That's on the ass. Which what, what, what everybody? Do? Yeah, like like everybody really asked me. Be like, yeah, when y'all gonna get married? Why aren't y'all married? I think a lot of people get married because of that societal pressure. People yeah. don't really be wanting to do that shit, but it's like, I've yeah. been together so long, people just start, oh, what's up? You get marriage. It's like, bitch, shut the fuck up. And like, the one thing I'm talking about. The, what was the phrase? What? Why get the uh, why get the cow when you're getting the milk for free or some goofy <laughs> shit like that? Yeah. And like, and like the thing like my mom, my mom was talking about like wanting to be rich and everything else and I and she always puts me in that conversation. I'm like, no, that's always been your goal. I'm getting to a point where I'm gonna be real comfortable, I'm gonna pay off my debts, and I'm gonna be really cool where I'm at. And I'm actually cool where I'm at now, but I'm just stepping up just to be sure. You want to be rich, woman. That is your goal. That's I'm good. And I had to break it down to it. Like, I don't want to, but you're trying to put that pressure on me. Like, I need to want to be a billionaire. I'm confident I could be if I was passionate enough. You didn't raise a passionate person to want to be a billionaire. I'm sorry. You didn't. It didn't work out the way you wanted to. You should have raised me to be like that. Your ideals is my ideals. But I think that's where some of this exhaustion comes from, too. Because you got to understand, like, the main exhaustions that we all identify with is physical and mental. Those are the easiest, right? You can easily get tired. Tired, you go to the gym, or you know what I mean. You get brain fall, you get sluggish shit. Like, like that's easy shit for us to identify with. It's easy to identify with mental exhaustion too. You might, you know, you may, you may be in situations where you arguing with a bitch all the time. That can be mentally draining. Your boss is always fucking with you at work. Mentally draining. Mm -hmm. But the type of shit that we're talking about now is like that that next level deep shit like purpose exhaustion and shit like that which a lot of parents do do and that's why you know mm -hmm. I think this is a good episode of 2020 a lot of motherfuckers lost their job they sitting at home they don't know what the fuck they doing next they don't. They, they, like like twenty twenty took my whole career path and said like, well, I don't know what you're gonna do. I know. And at first I was kind of sad about, it, but then I was like, no, nah, that's a blessing in disguise. I was burnt anyway, and no, I'm chilling, yeah. bro. And that's the way some people got to look at it. You got to look at it because like I'm, I know it sucks, you know, to be laid off all of a sudden. Some of you people out there, I know. I was there last year. I'm a step ahead of you niggas. Anyways, but I get it because life just takes everything you had planned and threw that shit out the window. But in a way, you got to look at the optimism of it. It's like, okay, that's, like I said, I look at 2020 as a reset button for a lot of people. This is the chance where it's like, if you got the chance, bro, pivot. The year of the pivot. Pivot in another direction. Figure out what else you want to do. Because the majority of the world had their pants down at this point, which gives a good reason for a lot of people. I know some people that are using this time to, like, get fired. Because like, I can get fired and blame that shit on COVID. Oh, what happened at your last job? Ah, COVID. You know, man, it was... You know, you, you know how I'd be in 2020. Like, the year of the fucking opportunity, or set up for the opportunity, is this year. Um. Yeah. You. 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 Tell, you tell some pretty good uh, things about being. You know, 
exhausted for a purpose. You told some good ones about, um, I believe, values disconnect and look, actually purpose as well. Values disconnect. The purpose, I think, value, actually, I, honestly, I think both of y'all were purpose, which makes sense. Like I said, men, men got to think about purpose more than more than people think. Women got to think about who they're going to be with. Cause that's I, actually, I, think, I think that's what values disconnect, baby. So values disconnect is basically when... When you find yourself in a situation to where you are forced to do things that go against your character and go against some of your beliefs just yeah. for the expectations of being in a better place. Yeah, I, that's why that's one of the reasons why I stay in by myself. I can't I can't be cordial with people I dislike. Exactly. Like, like I just, I'm tired of, I'm yeah. tired of being nice on social media. I'm tired of like I had to put this facade on it. It's very it is just like like I'm just I'm not like I am a real nice dude. I go out my way in life, but at the same time I really like telling you about yourself and I can't and it just I bite I bite my tongue in every situation and it's difficult and I just have to tolerate things I hate and I tolerate so much I hate I tolerate like like hate is a strong word but I wish there was a stronger one like I just and like you could say loathe I mean I don't know if that's stronger but it, it just feels I just, I, it feels more like I loathed it bro like I gotta I gotta like tolerate I just have to tolerate dumb shit bro I gotta tolerate this all like I gotta tolerate people I don't like I gotta tolerate racism I gotta tolerate ignorance and it's just easier life is easier if I just stay in my room in the dark for days on end bro like it's that's, legit easier that's something they point out right like, like a corporate mask you know what I mean you got you got that's you the put reason on why the, that's the reason why like, I quit my job bro I couldn't t- I couldn't deal with the ignorance of racism from all these jobs I couldn't like er- like my mom thought I like doing Comic Cons I told her like no I hate most of those people most of the people are like you hate me y'all were racist and y'all hated me alright why do y'all think because I smile bro I'm working a job bro y'all was racist bro <laughs> best believe I would fight most of y'all y'all drew me under the best uh, bus and didn't pay me bro I just like so many people bro it, it, it was a lot of cool people but no bro it, it, it's various forms of exhaustion and like I said you know now, now's the time to realize it because you may be thinking you know you just want to pay the price you, you know you just want to earn your time but you just got to ask yourself is it worth it and if it, is it worth it and let your word get if, if okay you, if you do want to pay that price flip it and reverse it if you do want to pay that price you, you either got to put a, a a time frame on yourself or you got to put a threshold and and, and, the, and the time frame is like okay if, if I'm gonna do this bullshit that I don't like doing mentally or in the value disconnect exhaustion level if I don't like doing some of this corporate shit I gotta find a time period of when I can get out I gotta be able to get out of this shit by blankety blank blank yeah or, some people will just work a job for the rest of their life and yeah. be miserable and then they start beating their wives that's when you start doing you start, start slipping cheating. into a dark side you start or you start getting alcoholic like, you, like these things will drain you they you st- become an alcoholic you start doing drugs you start getting into arguments with people that you shouldn't be getting into arguments with over, over little shit Start cheating Like hey These mashed potatoes cold What the fuck You say about my mashed potatoes <laughs> Just start snapping on people So I'm Missing that passion bro So I, like like I said it, It's a lot of people out there That the, the 2020 Kind of just beat them up A little bit I, I've heard some Fucking stories I've heard some crazy Woo, I've seen some OnlyFans That Values disconnect. People didn't want to make OnlyFans, but they had to make OnlyFans. It became the wave. And I knew some people out there who was making OnlyFans out of necessity. Not out, not out of because they wanted I to. I know so many that made it out of necessity. Out of necessity I know some people yeah. just did it, but I know a lot of people that didn't want to and, you know. Yeah. And, and like, like I said, it's a form of value disconnect because it's like... It, it doesn't matter how you feel. This, like You know what I mean? You can, you can be okay... With being like, okay, I like seeing women nude or whatever. You know, nudity is not a big deal. It doesn't have to be sexual. Versus it's like, okay, but I still don't want to do it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, I still don't I don't want to do it, but it's yeah, like, I, I mean, got to do it. But you know, like, oh, I can make money doing this because we're in a pandemic. I don't have to be around people. Yeah. It is a perfect setup. More people at home, more people in front of screens. Why not? Mm-hmm. But um, like I said, it, you, you just got to get good at identifying what kind of scenario you're in and, and really dive deep into it. Because, you know, some people will, will think that this is just life. You know what I mean? This is just what I have to do. I have to work this job because that's what society tells me to do. And if I don't like it, then it's my fault. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, it's not your fault. Get the fuck out. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real. Like, don't 
don't don't grind yourself thin trying to do shit like this just because you think society needs to do that. And in, in your case, like we got to be better with that, like parents and shit. Like you know, just because your mama be like, oh, I, I I want you to be this, I want you to do that. Like no, fuck that. But uh, you know, you just gotta get better at trying to identify certain exhaustions, things like that. Because like I said, it's more than just physical and mental. Uh, you know, you got your values that can be jeopardized. You got, of course, your purpose. Um, I've seen it plenty of times where people started out as teachers in, in school, like high school teachers. Next thing I know, like, nigga, you a bartender now? Bro, I've seen it so many times where the look, well, especially lose a big corporate job. What was the thing? It was like that role bounce thing where dude was just like, you're just, you're just overqualified to be a gender. Come on, man. I need this job. Yeah. I need this. I was like that. That was a hard. Say. I was that was like, wow. Hard. That was hard because he was over. A dude was like, "You're just too good for." He just like, yeah. He, he just, was like, I, I need this, man. Yeah, you, you got to understand that people are gonna switch positions in life because you know you just may realize it ain't for you. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, you know, we 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 really talk about teachers and education system a lot, and some teachers will get in that and they'll see. You know, I am a teacher, but this ain't what I thought it was gonna be. I, I thought I was gonna be able to teach better than this, but I'm really going off this train track of a very fixed education system, so I can't teach the way I want to teach. And they may jump out. You may see a teacher become a bartender or a stripper or something. I don't mean they fell off necessarily, but they just realized like, fuck that shit, it ain't for me. So that's so true. Values disconnect happens a lot in prison. Nobody talks about it. What disconnect? Values disconnect happen a lot in prison. How do you think value disconnects happen in prison? You got to join up with certain groups. You got to survive. Just survive. Yeah. yeah. Like, like that's like a big thing. So, so would you say you think a lot of like inmates become part of gangs that they normally wouldn't just for survival sake? Part of gangs or just other like there's certain things they do that only pertains to prison. And sometimes you're in there so long it becomes just part of you. So you just become part. Yeah. And like I said, that's the thing. Like, unfortunately, in a situation because that was like the whole that, survival thing was the whole thing with holy fans. Like it becomes like as part of survival. Yeah. I was going to say survival comes in different ways. You know what I mean? And, and like, unfortunately, in a situation like that, you can't just get out. You can't just get out of prison. You know what I mean? Like, fuck this. I learned my lesson. Like, nah, nigga, you, you still got some, some years, dog. You're going to sit your ass in there for, the, for this time. So before it gets that bad, like I said, really, really connect with some values. Uh, spend some time if you can and even treat it like a job. If you got an off day, search. Mm-hmm. Hunt down and really get your feelings and emotions right with what you really want to align with. Don't was, don't waste your time at a job forever. What was that one thing they said? I think The Rock said he was just like, and he's like, you're not tired. You're just exhausted from your job, from not from not working on your passions. After you get off work, don't just stop there. Keep working on what you want to do in your career. Oh, yeah. That's real shit. Because, I mean, well, first of all, I mean, it's an injustice to you. You know what I mean? It's like you didn't gave this company 40 hours of your life this week. And I know you're tired. I know you're tired. Because why wouldn't you be? I know you're tired. But like, if you could, if shit, you ain't, got, you ain't even got to go the next 48 hours that weekend. Just put in four, eight hours. Chip away at that shit until you really perfect it and start moving on. I know somebody this year who, um, she was, uh, I guess I would file her under value disconnect exhaustion as well. It seems like that's a very common thing with fucking jobs in the U.S., isn't it? Ain't that a bitch? Very common thing with value disconnect. Mm-hmm. But like, she loved the job itself. She liked the job. She just hated the actual company, mm-hmm. the values that they did. She didn't like the way they did certain things at the company, but she fucked with the job. Blessing in disguise for her in 2020. She got laid off. Guess what she's doing now? What? The same exact job, but now she's doing it under her own business that she started. That's what Saul was the values disconnect. Saul was big on values disconnect. Saul was so Saul was so ridiculous on values disconnect. He was talking about killing himself. Oof. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Typical white man shit. I mean, to be honest with you, I was there a couple years. Well, he's ago, significantly so. happier though. Like yeah. ever since he changed jobs, you can just see like, wow, he's way better. I mean, shit, my purpose disconnect, uh, my purpose exhaustion I was talking about, shit, had me in that same level, like, in 2017, shit. 
So I think I'm starting to talk about that a little bit more now. Not as much as I was in the past. But uh, yeah, I was definitely entertained in the thought of offering myself in about 2017. Oh, yeah, you did. You did mention that. 2016, 2017. Oh, yeah, I was getting close. I gave myself a timeline. I was like, if it ain't together by 2018, I'm probably just going to not be around. But still here, shit changed in the game. So, uh, yeah, those are uh, some of the different levels of exhaustion, uh, emotional exhaustion. I mean, mm, what's this emotional exhaustion? It says it's a little bit more complex and time consuming to identify versus Damn, other types. That. Damn, that's definitely what I'm going through. Damn, I'm going through that hard. Emotional exhaustion is typically brought on by persistent relationship friction, a period of grief, or constantly acting in a caretaker role at work or at home. If you feel like you have nothing left to give and your mood is persistently low, marked by feelings of depression and or anxiety, you could be emotionally exhausted. I will say that what I was going through in 2016, 2017, I'm going to say 80% was purpose, 20% was emotional exhaustion. Bro, I've been emotionally exhausted my whole relationship. Yikes. Four years. Talk about it, champ. Four years going, bro. Four years going. What do you mean? I talked about it so much, you was tired of hearing about it. So I was like, all right, I'm definitely definitely becoming that, that same broken record. I mean, I ain't gonna say I'm tired. You you did you hit me with that whole like again, still, and I was like, oh, you're right. You're right. I'm talking about it too much. That doesn't mean I'm tired of talk, hearing about it. That means I'm very shocked that the same scenario is going on. I mean, it's like it's like different, uh, same thing, different scenario, bro. Like it's just the ongoing, bro. I mean, but here's the thing: at the same time, I can't I can't front. It's like shit. I was. I was saying the same thing in mind. I was like, again, we're here again. Okay. Well, that's why that's why I said, I was like, bro, this fifth year, I'm going to be broken up or I'm going to be married, bro. Like, like this year, like this year I'm going to be married. I'm going to make it a big post or I'm going to secretly do it. Only for several people or nobody's going to know I got married. So it's going to be one of those two things. Like 2021, I'm married or I'm single. Like, I'm just not going to fifth year at this level. Like, something's getting better or changing. Like I was just like, like I can't deal with a fifth year of things being the same way in some facet. Like I feel like, like if you're in some type of anything you're in for five years, you know, and you feel like you're just in this stagnant thing, it needs to change. Like it doesn't matter what you do, even if you're grinding music, right? Five years of consistently doing music, some you cannot say you're in the same position. That you was in the beginning. If so, you need to drastically do something. Something's got right. To like something has to change. Right. Like there should be no. I can't think of one way where five years. Like you're still like barely, barely anything is really adjusted. <laughs> right. You got to figure but, that away. Yeah. Like emotional wise, same. Like it's the same thing. Absolutely. Ten thousand percent. I actually don't know too much of anything. Hell. I don't even know if, if I stayed in the same job position for five years, I'd be pissed off. Mm-hmm. Some people would do that for the whole lives. Like I don't, I don't know how. I right, nigga, I better be manager or something. Like one of these years, y'all niggas better break me off, bro. Or I'm gonna break myself off and say fuck y'all. Shit, I don't work the same job for like fucking six years. They keep getting even money, so bro. At one point, I break had, them niggas off, bro. They keep break, listen, they listen. keep breaking me nah, off. No, nah. go up. Listen, listen. listen. <laughs> I don't want to move up my job before we do get in that conversation. I don't want no other listen, responsibilities from, in that motherfucker. From a nigga that went that went down that route, because I've realized there's only a finite position in every position. I mean, there's only a finite amount of money they 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 willing to allocate for every I, position. I ain't at the cap yet, so I'm cool. <laughs> I, I hit that cap and they said, boom. Yeah, like, 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 get once, your ass out of here. Cap is like, all right, now nah, you, you either gonna move over another position or you getting the fuck out the company. But they looked, it's like, why are we paying this nigga this much for this? <laughs> I feel like I really feel like I'm like I'm like almost at that level. It's like, why are we paying this nigga this much? I'm telling you, I'm like I'm almost there. I'm like right at that. At, at, like, I'm at the cusp right now. I, I I thought I had a little more time. Nah, nigga, I didn't. I didn't. Nah, they caught me early. They when I tell me. niggas how much I get paid for what I do. Everybody shakes bricks. It's like honestly, in my I don't want to say what I do, but in my like career path. I probably make at least twice, like no bullshit. What everybody else does, dead ass. Listen, I'm, I'm telling you, bullshit. listen, nigga, I'm telling you, get out, get out soon, nigga, get out soon. I thought I was safe. I was wearing Hawaiian shirts. I was like, nigga, I'm untouchable. I was like, bro, I, I make more than all you. So niggas. you think you're untouchable? I was like, 
I got faulted in that situation. So you think you're the most valuable asset, huh? Mm, no, no, you're not. I, well, my numbers are pretty good. You thought you thought you thought we were a sales company. No. Right. Yeah, see, that's how that's how I felt because a few years ago when doing high con and everything else, I, I was down to one vehicle and I was like, I need to stop down being, to one I, vehicle. And then that be, actually it was actually <laughs> down to like no vehicle. And I was like, you know what? This guy I can't keep doing this with all that. So now I consistently have three cars. Like I was just like, it's just not. And I now agree. I have three cars. Now I'm upgrading every vehicle. Is now we try, we get rid of one, we get another one, we upgrade it, sell, get another one, upgrade, sell, resell. Like I was like, my lifestyle has to change. Like I gotta just, I cannot, I can't be like, dang, you thirty and you ain't got no working car. Like no, like I'm not doing that again, bro. Like what? A, like I'm not about to struggle the same way I was like twenty five and no vehicle, bro. Like I'm not happening. I think, right. I think one of the few reasons why a lot of these exhaustions exist is because they really don't teach you about how to set personal milestones for yourself. You know what I mean? Like, you got to be like, at 35, I'm going to be this. At 40, I want this. And then from there, it, it gets a little easier. Like, if you can be like, at 35, I'm, I want blank, 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 off the rip. At 40, I want blank, 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 off the rip. If you're able to do shit like that, it's way easier for you to, like, carve out a path for you. Like, you know, actually make a pathway. And be like, all right, now how am I going to get to that shit? And you're like, all right, well, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And this. And this. And before I know it, I didn't check all these boxes. Mm-hmm. Shit, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. But, like I said, this is where you get caught up in the, in, 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 in the fucking purpose shit. What the fuck do I got purpose exhaustion for with a college degree? Because they don't teach you shit in America about how to fucking know what the fuck you're supposed to do with your life. They give you a generalized education. And like, I, I don't want to be that person that takes the blame off myself. But, I mean, there's so many other people that go through these problems. You know what I mean? We identified that all three of us had a purpose exhaustion earlier, right? That's 100% fucking statistic in this room. So, obviously, there's a mental gap somewhere with, you know, between teaching people how to be fulfilled and how to do other things like that. So that's all I wanted to say in 2020. There's different levels of exhaustion out there. There's mental, physical, emotional, values, disconnect. Don't sell yourself short. Sacrifice your character and what you stand for to gain in life. Don't do that, because you're gonna feel shitty about it. And last but not least, purpose. So, yeah, um, I definitely would implore you guys to research a little bit more of that shit on your own and figure it out and try to see if you can identify who you are. Look in the fucking mirror about that shit. Any final thoughts, gentlemen? Damn, that went longer than I thought. No, that's not the longer than I think. We said a lot of shit. I ain't gonna lie. dope. I mean, this is good. This is the episode people need to see. You need to see this. This is what you need to see, bro. Any final thoughts, Swervo? Fuck you, news. Still on that. Damn. All right. Hey, people say they tired, bro. Go on, get a bang. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. Stay good. Stay healthy. And if you're tired, figure it out. Smoke time. Yeah.